frequency. And then number three is to watch your tone. So although people cannot hear you all the time unless you're live and you're commenting something, you can still watch how you say it. So it's not exactly what you're saying, um, but it's how you're saying it. What are you putting in there? Are you putting extra exclamation marks um, to make it look like you're yelling at somebody? Um, but making sure that you're watching your tone online. So it's often hard to read emotions in posts um, and jokes can be easily misinterpreted. So if you're joking around with people, um, if you're having conversations with people online, you may be talking about somebody else, but they may not catch the joke. They may think it's serious. So you want to make sure that you're watching what you say. You want to make sure you're watching how you say it. You want to make sure you're watching your tone because things can be misinterpreted online, which means people can take it in a way that you didn't mean for them to take it. So make sure you're watching that. Um, oftentimes when you're posting, you want to stop, think, and review it. So you may write it out. You may write out a status or you may write out a comment, but stop after you write it. Think about it, and then even after you think about it, go back and read it again and say, is this appropriate to post at this time? And if it is not, please do not post it because remember, we're going after being good citizens, good digital citizens at this time. Um, so after you're watching your tone, you want to be skeptical, which means there's no need to accept any deals online. So anything that they're trying to make you buy, anything they're trying to make you sign up for, you don't have to do it because it doesn't all concern you. Um, if you feel like you need to be a part of something that's online, make sure that you're consulting your parents or an adult that's around you. Make sure you're asking them if it's okay. Um, and then you only communicate with people you know. So be skeptical about people that you do not know. Do not accept friends that you have not seen in person. Do not have conversations with people that you have not seen in person. And even if you have seen them in person, you still have to be careful about the conversations that you're having with people online. Cool? So just going back over that, how do you be, how do you become a safe and responsible digital citizen? Make sure that you're being respectful and expecting respect. Protect your privacy, watch your tone, and be skeptical, okay? I want to go back up um, to when I was talking about the things that we're going to dig in today. Um, we're already talking about what it means to protect who you are online. But one thing I really want to dig into, the first part was protecting your reputation. So you want to protect the person that you are. So you want to build up a reputation that shows that you're a good citizen. Again, we're going back up to good citizenship where we talked about if you're working together, if you're being a good citizen, your country will become stronger. So are you doing your part on rep representing yourself in a way that adds to the strength of your country? Are you doing everything on your end that you can um, to add to what it means to be a good representation of your family? ultimately being a good representation of yourself. I often tell um, some of you that you're representing yourself. You're representing your family. You're representing the Boys and Girls Club. So wherever you go, whatever you say, people are watching you and you want to build a good reputation. You want people to look at you and say, hey, they're responsible. They're smart. They're making good decisions. Um, and that can be done online. You're making a good reputation for yourself by what you post, by what you comment on, and not just that, by what you like, right? So we can put all these likes and these emojis on stuff that may be negative, but people can follow that and they can see what you're liking. They can see what you're posting on. So you want to make sure that you're building a good reputation for yourself. Um, what benefits do you get from being a digital citizen? What benefits do you guys get from being a digital citizen? Um, so first thing is you get to be social and collaborative. You get to be social and collaborative. So during this time, a lot of you don't have interaction with the friends that you would typically at school have interaction with, but you can still be social with your friends online, keeping all of those other things we mentioned beforehand in mind, but you can still be social. You can still collaborate with them to say, hey, 
what can we be doing during this time to still be positive? What can we do during this time? Can we make a group that encourages our friends? Can we make a group that encourages our friends to wash their hands? Can we make a group that encourages our friends um, just to be positive during this time, to share positive affirmations? Can we... Um, collect donations for the boys and girls club can we put something out there um that's causing people to see that you're being a good citizen so you can still be social you can still be collaborative the second thing is you can express yourself the benefit of being um, a digital citizen you can express yourself Oftentimes, like I said, we don't have the people that we typically talk to around us. Maybe um, we don't have access to their phone numbers or we don't have access to whatever's happening on your social media. You can still express yourself. You can put how you're feeling. You can put what you're thinking. Still, again, keeping in mind, being responsible, being respectful, but you can still express yourself online. Another benefit of being a digital citizen is you can explore who you are. You can explore what means a lot to you. You can explore your stance on what's happening right now. Um, what do you think about what's happening in the world? What do you think about what's happening in your city, in your country? What are your thoughts on that? You can explore what you think. You can explore how you feel. Um, you can explore who you are um, when you're online. So you can look stuff up that mean a lot to you. You can look up um, there's like pages that you can be a part, become a part of, um, groups that you can become a part of, and you can explore things that matter to you. The very last thing under what benefits do you get from being a digital citizen is you can take action. And this is where I'm going to end because this is the biggest thing that I want to talk about. You can take action on issues you care about. So again, you can take action on issues you care about. So what are some things that maybe you didn't have time to think about while you were in school? You didn't have time to think about while you were at the Boys and Girls Club? What really matters to you? What concerns do you have about what's going on in the world? What do you see done? What do you want to see done better? What do you want to see um, happen that's maybe not happening right now? This can be in the Boys and Girls Club. This can be at school. What are some things you want to see happen? And then think about how you can take action on those issues or on those things that you care a lot about. So really think about that. Um, while you're at home, really think about what it means to be a good citizen. Really think about what it means to demonstrate good character and good citizenship. And you have time to really reevaluate um, while you're at home. And what I mean by that is when you reevaluate your life, when you reevaluate who you are, um, you can go through just some some things, some decisions that you've made leading up to this point. You can go through. Um, just whatever has happened before now. Have you made good decisions? Have you made some not so good decisions? If you made good decisions, how can you make more? If you've made some not so good decisions, how can you turn those things around? What can you do better? And how can you become a good citizen during this time? So again, I know that there's a lot happening. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on that you've never experienced before, but there are some action steps that you can take. And hopefully you can go through this video and you can use this lesson to really um, take some steps to be a good citizen while you're at home. And again, that digital citizenship is a way that you can demonstrate good citizenship while you're at home. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you wanna comment on this post, if you wanna ask me a personal question, if there's something you didn't understand, go ahead and drop it in the comments, message us. But hopefully this lesson helps you. And again, going back to that quote that I started with, when all of us work together, we become good citizens and our country becomes stronger. Again, when all of us work together, we become good citizens and our country becomes stronger so continue to work on being a good citizen while you're at home continue to work on being a good digital citizen while you're at home and you're going to contribute to making this country become stronger even in the midst of everything that's going on 
we miss you we can't wait to see you hopefully again you tune in every monday to these lessons if there's something that you want to talk about or something that you want to hear about you can drop that in the comments too see you guys soon